Hello everybody, it's Marker Man, and today we are here to check out this industrial smelter I have made. As you can see, got some nice decorations. It's pretty easy, you got the intake, you got the fuel, and then over here you've got where you collect all of your spelted items. This is pretty simple, and yeah, we're gonna just get right on with it. So you're going to need some hoppers that I have already grabbed, and you're just going to make a line of eight hoppers. So once you have that line of hoppers, you're going to grab furnaces and place furnaces all along these eight hoppers, like so. Then on top of these hoppers, you're going to put um, hoppers facing directly down. So they're not facing any other direction but towards the furnace. Like that. Then you're going to come over to this side and place a block right here along with right here. Then you're going to grab your redstone torch along with a comparator and run a comparator output right there. Redstone torch, place a block with a redstone repeater, then place blocks going all the way along here, then grab some redstone dust and place that going along here as well. So then what you're going to do is you're going to use this hopper right here to face towards this comparator. And all of these hoppers need to be facing towards the comparator, like shown. So we have all of that done. Then we're going to face a bunch of hoppers into the sides of these furnaces. Now I realize this is incredibly hopper heavy. Obviously you could find other designs that don't use tons of hoppers, but I thought this was a good design anyway. So then you're going to build a little thing that comes out of here block here, here, redstone torch, comparator with the double dots facing this way, um, redstone repeater, and then just placing blocks going all the way this way, along with some redstone dust facing this way, and then you're just going to take some hoppers and face them towards the comparator. Like this. So we have that all done. Now it's a matter of covering the entire thing up, which should, should be pretty simple. So I'm actually just going to use the fill command, since I feel like that's faster. Yeah, so that side, I don't do it for these little corners, but... If you don't know how to use the fill command, let me know down in the comments below, and I might make a tutorial on it if you guys want. And there we go. Then for the front, it's just a tad more complicated. We gotta leave an area for the chest. So now we're just gonna cover that up like so. And that is almost your entire furnace smelting array done. You're going to want to come to this side and add your chests. But I recommend putting the hoppers one more up. So just put two hoppers that face down. Makes it easier like this for that one and this for this one. Now I will be showing you how to do the iron design that I did on the last one just because I thought that was pretty cool. So all I really did is I just put iron over this then I went two blocks in over here and put iron going all the way up like this and I did that every two blocks like this and then you'll notice that that looks pretty cool and then just do the same exact thing on the other side like that and then you're also going to still need to cover the rest of the thing up and that should not interfere with anything at all So you've got that done, and you're going to go want to go on this side, and if you can see the furnaces, this is the side you're going to want to place your yellow glass on. I chose yellow glass just because it looked just a tad more industrial, and there you have that. So overall, I thought this design was pretty cool, and as you can see, we could test it. 
So let me just grab a stack of coal and and basically it should perfectly divide all of the resources you have given it between all of the furnaces and as you can see we can go check up on it make sure it's working through here as you can see it just all lit up so we know the furnaces are working now we just have to wait like 10 seconds for these chests to kick in and we almost forgot to cover up the front but there we go you can put slabs there which I am actually going to do while we wait and there we go that is the entire system and as you can see we've already got seven iron so that was pretty cool I thought I hope you've enjoyed the video and make sure to like and subscribe and that is all goodbye